Once in a while, there appears an opportunity to change the world into a more loving place. A world filled with love. The key to change lies in the hands of three children, who must go on a journey in search of Aroha, the wise woman of the mountain. But they can only attain the prize by overcoming chaos and darkness by believing in themselves and being true to each other. Many have tried and failed. It is time once again for the children to be chosen and face the forces of chaos. The journey begins. Hurry up, Billy. We'll be late for school again. Stop panicking. You're always panicking. How often are we late? All the time. I am not panicking. I'm merely well organised. I'm ready at the same time every day. Unlike some people I can mention. Mm. Billy, stand still. Mum, don't! Mm. You done your homework yet? Of course, I did it last week. It was the previous week's homework. She hasn't done it. What would you know, Miss Goody Two Shoes? Billy? Oh, sort of done. Billy? Some of it, the rest doesn't need to be done until tomorrow. As if. Why can't you be more organised like your sister? I am. It's not my fault time's speeding up. What are you talking about? It's official, it's in the paper. Since when do you read the paper? Never. Talia told me. Bye, Mum. Love you. Figures. See you later. It's chicken casserole for dinner tonight. Boring. I had to stay home all weekend. My parents are painting the house. Right. Boring. And you, Holly? I spent all my time at the hospital. My nana fell over and broke her hip. I like your nana. Is she going to be okay? Should be. She did give me $10 to spend. Mum would only let me have five. Sometimes I think your sister is a bit weird. I don't think so. I know so. Anyway guys, what's up? Nothing much. The week was pretty boring. Same here. Holly's nana broke her hip. Is she okay? Another boring day. Don't know. Could be interesting. Don't we have a relief teacher today? Awesome. Won't have to do much. I can do much. No kidding. To you? He punched her. Right, you two can go to the principal's office at lunchtime, please. We didn't do anything. Well, you can explain that to him. Now, what's your name? Billy. Are you hurt? Are we fine? Okay. Everybody inside the classroom, please. <laughs> Gold and I'm going to be the teacher while Miss Hooper's away getting married. <laughs> now, I know you guys are working on fractions, so let's get out those worksheets that you were given on Friday and supposed to do for homework, eh? 
I've already done mine. You're such a goodie good Talia. She's a brainiac, she can't help it. So, shut up, GC. <clears throat> Sorry, miss, it's just that I hate maths. Not my favourite subject either. No, it's not so bad, really. Not once you get used to it anyway. Now, come on. Lisa, wanna go up the mark? Bro, there's no way. I'll go tell him. Ooh. Just because no boys ask you out. That's because I already have a boyfriend. Right. I forgot. How can you forget? They wouldn't stop holding hands at Domain Day. It's for you. You guys just aren't as sophisticated as me. Boys are boring and gross. Give that back! Give it back, Richard, or I'll kick your butt! Georgia doesn't think boys are stupid. Whatever. They don't like going out of it. He's like her only friend. He's such a geek. Why does she hang out with him? Because she's a geek too? I'll say. Shut up! Only I'm allowed to call her that. Okay, I was just saying. Next Monday, so you have me for the whole week. Is that alright with you, Mark? If you're nice and we don't have to do any work. Oh, I'll try my best. Um, ma'am, I'm so okay there. Okay. Alright, everyone, I'll see you tomorrow. You four girls, can you please stay behind and write an apology letter for whispering during silent reading? But, miss, I have to go home with my sister. I'm sorry, no excuses. Don't touch it. Why not? It looks interesting. It's just a book, silly. Who needs it? I don't know. It looks really old. Books are boring. At least they have lots of pictures in them. This one does. Look. The first page is torn out. Better leave it alone, otherwise we will get in trouble. I don't know. It's got illustrations and poems. Poetry is not cool. And what were you guys staring out the window for anyway? I don't know. Billy saw something out the window. So did I. What did it look like? It was like a shadow, but it changed from light to dark. Is that what you saw? Yeah, it was really strange. It must have been the sun coming out from behind the clouds. Mm. 
So we all have to stay behind because you saw some shadow? Thanks a lot. Sorry. You could say it as if you meant it. Come on, let's get out of here. We'll get in trouble. I'll just tell him my mum came and picked us up. Come on. Okay, but if we get caught, you're the one who gets in trouble. I've got some money to spend. Let's get some lollies. I want to go to the library first. The library? What for? They have books there, don't they? That's why I want to go. Since when? Since I picked up this book. What did you take that thing for? I want to see if there's another copy in the library. You'll be in trouble if you're caught. Nobody will know. I'll return it in the morning. So, why did you take it? To get another copy? Okay, I have to wait for Georgia to finish her arts and crafts course anyway. We're here. Oh, hi, Scarlett. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my sister. It's so boring. Come on, guys. Let's go inside. Yes, we're looking for another book like this one. This is a handwritten book, love. It'll be the only one like it. There may be a published version, so I'll go and have a look, just in case. Billy, come here, look at these photos. That's a lot of missing children. Yeah, my dad always used to say, I better be careful, otherwise I'll go missing like all of them. I've never heard anything about missing children. Really? Whenever I go out, they're always like, don't be late, when are you coming back, blah, blah, blah. So boring. Do you notice anything? They must be old. Look at their clothes. No, they always go missing in threes. Sorry, love, we have no record of that. That's really weird. Thanks for your help. Did you find out anything? I don't have any record of it. That's a gruesome story. They could be murdered somewhere. Come on, let's go get some lollies. I see you've chosen again. Four, of course, is far too many. The prophecy can only be achieved with three. Just let things run their course. The three will choose themselves. You won't succeed. These children will fail just like all the others before them which doesn't mean that nobody shouldn't ever try. You're always so optimistic, dear sister. Why don't you just give up right now? Because I believe that one day there will be a group of children who will succeed. It is me and my kind who hold sway over the world right now. How foolish you sound. What I like about this is that children scare so easily and can be so easily turned. I think a little of your chances. Well, I am prepared to wait. Humans, your grandmother's awesome. I never get money from mine. Sometimes I get $20 from my grandma, but then my mum takes it off me. She says it's for my education. If I have to go home soon, mum gets mad with me if I'm too late. Do you hear that? Hear what? Singing. Listen. It must be some kids somewhere playing music. 
I don't know, it's kind of different, sort of. Did you see that? See what? Must be my imagination. I can still hear the singing. Come on, let's go find out. This way. them and educate them, teach them our ways and send them into the world to set the world free. Do you see what I see? I think so. I can see them too. Do you think it's some kind of fancy dress party? Pinch me to see if I'm awake. Ouch! You said to pinch you. But not that hard. Are you the chosen ones? Chosen for what? Just chosen, we don't know what for. This has to be a joke. Who are you to say that we're a joke? Keep your cool, but you do look a bit weird just like that in Domain, you know. There is nothing weird about us at all. You live here? You live here all the time? Yes, but most people can't see us. We watch and we collect. We collect things which others discard. Why haven't we seen you before? Because you never tried. And because the time wasn't right. And for some mysterious reason it is now? Yes. Are you going to explain or not? No. We're the collectors. Not again. We collect things which humans leave lying around. Do you like my hat? Just look at these I have collected. Don't you think it is a fine collection? And I collect songs. Do you want to hear some? <gasps> yes, 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 yes. What becomes of the broken hearted all by myself? Don't want to be all by myself. Send in the clowns, there ought to be clowns. What's she talking about? We're surrounded by clowns. I don't like your attitude. In fact, I don't like you very much at all. You smell. It's time for you to leave. We don't smell, and we're not leaving just because you say so. Stay if you want. It makes no difference to me. I don't think you're a very nice person. It's not my job to be nice. What's well, brown and sticky? What stands still but forever goes forward? More and more! What do you collect? Missing pages. May I have a look? I will look for you. What is it missing from? It's the front page of this book. I found the missing page. I think it's another riddle. Actually, it's a prophecy, dum-dum. And as you don't understand it, I will keep it. We are compelled to return it if the human asks for it. Isn't that the law? I think we should help them. I agree. Rose petal, morning star, everyone, what do you say? The opposite of no. The opposite of disagree. I object to objection. This is not a democracy!
mine. You can have it. I don't get any of that. They're all completely nutty. So, what does the prophecy? I don't know. I can't read the writing. We haven't solved anything yet. Perhaps we should have asked them. Maybe we should have paid more attention in school. Are you feeling all right? Yeah, but what are we doing running around with a book full of stuff that we don't understand? I'm hungry and want to go home. Mum's castle is smelling really good right now. I agree. I have to meet George at the community centre. Coming? So you see, it was really weird. Are you sure it wasn't your imagination running wild? No, Lisa, Holly and Tally saw them too. The things in the drain? Sure. I'm winning. Concentrate, Holly. Did you really see those things, Billy? Yes, why won't anyone believe us? Because it sounds stupid. You're stupid. Shut up, Talia, because I'll tell my mum and she'll tell your mum. So, I'll tell her that it was you who broke the area on the roof last year. You two brother and sister? No. no. Cousins. Don't gross me out. I can't live with him. Gee, shut it already. Yeah, you guys are beginning to sound like Georgia and Billy. Shut, Shut up, Holly. We do not. <laughs> A bit weird. Yeah. I'm gonna go upstairs and get some lollies. I'll come. Anyone else want anything? No, my mum doesn't let me have lollies. Thanks for taking us today, Georgia. It was great. I'm going to take mine home and give it to my mum. I, I, I haven't finished. Can I finish it next week? Of course. Thanks, Thanks Georgia. Georgia. Georgia, come and have a look at this book. You're smart, you might be able to read this stupid thing. Okay, let me look. This is simple. It says, from each love demands an action, when every step of chaos is taken, love returns. Bewildered, afraid, alone, what is it the world seeks so earnestly? Found by a child of innocence, when the rainbow merges, it is done. Where have they gone? I don't know. Did they leave without saying goodbye? Must have done. That's kind of rude. Why is the sky so blue? Where did yesterday go? When will our dreams come true? Can't we be sure? Can we discover who makes the sun shine bright? Here in this endless void, lead us oh, towards the light. Mysteries grow. Give us understanding, so far to go. Hi Sarah, that was really good. Thanks, I'm rehearsing for a show. What show? A show from acting class. I, this song is really quite hard. Hey, you guys didn't see Georgia Billy and Talia leave, did you? No, sorry. I don't know. It's okay, Georgia. You read the prophecy out loud. When you read it out loud, you somehow transported to this here, wherever we are. That's ridiculous. It's just a book. What about home? What about mum and dad? They're going to freak. Calm down, Georgia. There's no point in freaking out. Jeez, put yourself together. This looks really familiar. What do you think we're supposed to do? I told you the foot familiar. Where light fails and darkness grows, you must enter, forget what you know. A new world awaits the three who dare. 
change your words down that will remember the where. The where of what? I don't know. Well, it's pretty clear what we have to do. I'm not going in there. She's afraid of the dark. She has to have the cool way light on. Shut up, Billy. Oh, that's why it's always on whenever I come over. Why is there afraid of the dark? I don't know. She said that when she was little, she always used to come into her room and stand over her bed. Georgia, can you please try going in? The eldest one tremble with fear. What sort of an example is she? It's not a crime to be afraid of the dark. And why wouldn't she be? The others aren't afraid. They don't know any better. I'm sure if you'd sent shadows into their rooms when they were younger, that they would be just as afraid. Tell me, why did you choose the older one? She's easily seduced. I think you underestimate her. Look at her. She's terrified. She won't make it past the first doorway. She came this far. I think she reminds you of you. That insipid little creature. You offend me with your lack of judgment. Whatever you say, she certainly reminds me of you. Well, when you were younger anyway. She is far stronger than you think. This tunnel's too small. I I'm getting claustrophobic. Let let's go back. Come on, Georgia, we're nearly there. We can't go back. We've got to keep going. How on earth do we get here? I don't know. How do we get anywhere? One minute we're in the Tiara Centre, the next we're in a great big dirty tunnel, and now we're in the middle of a field, in the middle of nowhere. Now what? I don't know, I'm looking. I'm going home. You can't go home, this is starting to become an adventure. Adventures happen in books and movies, but not in real life. But wait, there's a picture of a house! And? And some more instructions? Just let me have a look. Good thing you're here, Georgia. I have no idea what these things mean. I'm glad she's useful with something. I mean to sister. She's mean to me. Stop arguing. We're all in this together. It says we must go in the door one at a time. We will know what to do when we are through the door. Those doors? I'm not going in there. You're such a sook. Well, Georgia, you can go first. Go!
I told you she was stronger than she appears. She would have fled if it weren't for her sister. And what's wrong with that? It's easy to be brave when you have someone holding your hand. In the end, it was courage that got her through. Only technically speaking, my dear sister. Once she is apart from the others, she will be easier to break. They will fail just like everyone else. These three are different. Do you really think these three will do any better? It isn't up to me. Why do you try so hard? Why do you? You know. I thought I did. You pretend to not know me now? I never pretended to understand you. I didn't say understand. What do you want? If you don't know, I can't tell you. What happened? A lot of things happened. You could have come to me. I will never come to you. Look what I got. I wonder what I'm supposed to do with this. What is it? I think it's a fairy wand. Could be. What did you get? Just a rock. Hmm. It's a nice shape. It's shaped like a heart. So what happens now? Go home, I guess. And where do you think that might be from? Here. I don't know. There's a house over there. Let's go and have a look. Mum will be wondering where we are by now. Come on. The girls haven't come home yet. They've probably gone to a friend's place. They'd let me know. 
ring around and see if you can find them. Hi Sue, it's Lee here. Are Georgia and Billy there? No. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'll let you know. Okay, bye. She's not at Talia's. And Talia hasn't turned up yet either. Hello, Lisa speaking. Hi, Lisa. Georgia and Billy's mum. Have you seen them? No, I haven't. Where was she last time you, you saw her? At the centre. I'll go take a look. Holly, Billy, Talia and Georgia have gone missing. You don't think? I don't know. Should we go look for them? Meet you at the centre in five minutes. OK, bye. You know, we are not allowed to talk to strangers. And if we don't, how are we going to get home? And what are we supposed to do with all these things we found? Don't know, but we'll be home soon. We'll decide then. How do we explain where we've been? Leave that to me. I'm good at that. This above all, to thine own self be true, and must follow as night follows day, thou canst not be false to anyone. Don't you see them? See what? The fairies. What fairies? The ones over there. Wake up, Georgia, you're dreaming. No, I'm not. Talia, can you see them? No. Georgia, you are going nuts. I knew they wouldn't make it past the first hurdle. I think you passed judgement too quickly. They're going to end up in the same place as all the others. Quiet. And let me listen. I can't see anything, but I can hear the laughter. I can't see or hear anything. Do you remember, Billy, when you were taught you saw furs at the bottom of the garden and you came running inside and told everyone? Yes. And nobody believed me. You were just laughing at me and said I was cute. But you really did see them, didn't you? Yes. What did they come to do with I get it. If you really believe the fairies, then this is it. Isn't that right, Georgia? I'll say so. Billy, try and remember. Please try, Billy. I remember. I did see them. Thank <laughs> you.
this is fairy school. You can't just come in here and look around. Why not? We've actually come to return something. And what might that be? This. You better come this way. <laughs> Aurora, there is someone special here to see you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Do sit down and join us for a cup of berry juice. My name's Olivia and you are? Hi, my name is Georgia. This is Billy and she's Talia. You're not fairies, are you? No, we're not fairies. Why are you just so funny? This is how we normally dress. Mm, so what are you doing here? Oh, wow, thank you so much. <laughs> That's one tassel food. It wasn't that hard, was it? <laughs> so, so pretty <laughs> Thank you for returning the wand. Can you tell me why it's so important? Fairies live on the growth of the mountain, and when humans walk on the mountain, we look after them. So, why the wand? The wand is special. It holds energy, and every ten years, a fairy is chosen to look after the wand. This is Aurora's here. Thank you once again. No probs. Well, I suppose we should go and find out what our next task is. Bye. Oh, wait. I need to show you to the edge of the land of the guardians. That's where your next task will be. Bye! So who's laughing now? Early days, early days. The next two tasks won't be so easy. Happened. Do you really think they've gone missing? I don't know. I'm scared for them. Maybe they're playing a game to scare us. Could be. I don't think so. Should we try the library in case they went back there? Could do. You're not being very helpful. It's because I'm too scared to think properly. Well, come on, let's just try anyway. I must stop here. I cannot go any further. Please be safe and stick together. Thank you. I guess that's part of the entertainment. Thank <laughs> you. 
They look like they're running the sword around. Are they statues? I don't think so. What else does it say in the book? Do not lose your inner peace for anything whatsoever, even if your whole world seems upset. God has to remember this, it's going to be important. This doesn't look good. We've got to stay strong. This is the task where I invariably win. Children are such selfish brats. True. This is a hard task, but it's not impossible. It is the nature of the human condition to breed selfishness. But in saying that, human beings have a kind heart and deep compassion. Which fairy tale have you been reading? All of them? You should try it sometime. Stuff and nonsense. You don't read them, because good always wins. Let me go! So, Georgia, how do you know my name? Queen Hinimoa knows all. You will do well to remember that. Leave my sister and Tally alone. What have they ever done to you? They've done nothing to me. Then why are you doing this? Why do you try to protect them, Georgia? It's not like they've ever tried to protect you. Yes, they do. They're my friends. Really? Then why do you sit all by yourself at lunchtime? I don't. I sit with Henry. So you and the school nerd are best friends. What's wrong with that? Billy and Talia have lots of friends, don't they, Georgia? So? You're never invited to any of the parties. Billy's always out somewhere with her friends. Well, you stay at home. All by yourself. I like to be by myself, don't you see? I love to read, to write, make art, lots of things. Really? Well, wouldn't you like some friends to do all that with? Just forget Billy and Talia. And then you could have all the friends that you've ever wanted. Wouldn't you like that? Really? If you don't let me go, then my dad's going to come and then you better watch out. Actually, I'm going to kick your butt. I'm faking with fear. No need to suck a kiss. Then maybe you shouldn't try intimidating any mom with empty friends. Then maybe you shouldn't be such a sucker. <laughs> I've got a feisty one here. I do karate, you know. I'll chop your heads off with my bare hands. Billy, we know you don't do karate. Spying on me, eh? You look like the type. Impertinent little swine! You'll be sorry by the time the day is coming. Whatever. Your termination tactics aren't working on me. Really? Your friend and sister aren't doing so well. Seems they were quite willing to give up everything they knew about you. Leave them alone. I don't know why you're trying to protect them, Billy. They haven't been very nice about you. I don't believe you. Whatever you say, I won't believe you. Oh. What was that boy's name that... Oh, that's right. Travis. Do you like Travis, Billy? How do you think the whole school found out? It was Talia. And Georgia. They set you up. We're behind your back. Because you're too bossy. And you've pretended to hate Travis ever since. Poor Travis. Mm. Leave me alone. Billy, we can make it all go away. You just need to forget Georgia and Talia. Talia, how does it feel to be constantly in Billy's shadow? Why is it that she is the one that always gets to make the decisions? You obviously don't know Billy. But we do, Talia. We know how she always bosses you around and how you always have to do what she wants. Whatever, we're just friends. What about at the movies the other day? And she made you go watch that stupid soccer movie? Even though you wanted to go see The Littlest Princess? So, that was only one time. I chose before that. Is that right? And what about when she was mad at you and stopped Holly from inviting you to her birthday party? And she didn't choose you to be in her camp group? How do you know all this? Leave me alone! What if you were the one that everyone listened to? What if you were the boss? You could do that. Once again, I'll claim your chosen three. Ordered. You can always come back, you know. But it's so much fun being on the winning side. You don't get lonely in the shadows. I was far more lonely when I was with you. I'm sorry, Mordred. I was young. How was I to know how my actions would affect you? I was your youngest sister. You should have known. Anyway, doesn't matter. I enjoy being on the winning side. You cannot rule the world forever. 
But it's so much more fun to win. One day people will realise and they will take a stand. Just like these children. They'll rise up and make the world a better place. You grow unwise in the ways of people, Sophia. You were always so forgiving of them. And perhaps these three will be the beginning. I don't care what you say. Billy and Tally are my friends. You're lying, and I'm not listening to a word you say. I'm not going to be tricked into your stupid little games. Now let me go! Never lose your inward peace. You've passed the test. Where is the sword? I feel like Luke Skywalker in Star Wars Episode 4, the original and best. I have to agree, for once. I haven't seen Star Wars before. You haven't seen Star Wars? You haven't lived. I've got every single episode. I don't know if I can defend it anymore. Shh. Congratulations. Because you stayed true to one another and did not give up on each other, your love and compassion shone through all difficulties that were placed before you. You have returned the sword to its rightful owner. We will make you guardians of the mountain by getting you to drink from the sacred well of Mother. Now what do you have to say? It was no victory. They weren't trying hard enough to break them. A bit more pressure and one of them would have cracked. That is irrelevant now. So they've got this far. But the task is not yet complete. I can still win this. There is only one more challenge to be completed. And I feel good about it. Do you really think they'll be in the team forever? They can't. I'll miss them too much. Me too. What do we do? I don't know. My nan told me that when my granddad was missing in the war, she held a vigil. What's that? I don't really know. She said that she would light candles and look at the stars, waiting for him to come back. We could do that. I've got lots of candles. Right now I could do us on a mum's kitchen. Do we have anything to eat? I have half a chocolate bar and a banana. It's a bit munted though. Yeah. You tell ya? Nothing. That is not going to keep us going. I have two lollies left. Shall we fight over them? We'll keep the chocolate for later. And we can have the banana now. You two can have a lolly each. That is mighty fine of you, Georgia. Mm. So what's next in the book? I expect to pass through life but once. If therefore there can be any kindness I can show or any good thing I can do to any fellow being, let me do it now, for I shall not pass this way again. That's kind of nice and kind of creepy. I miss home. Do you think Mum and Dad will be missing us yet? My mother will be going ballistic. Hey, Georgia. She'll be frantic by now. But we might never be able to see home again. Don't talk like that, Georgia. I was just wondering if anyone else had the coach. Have you guys seen anything? I keep thinking I see something at the corner of my eye. Me too. They look kind of like children. Must be the smell of chocolate. Oh no. What? They kind of look familiar. Are 
you nuts or something? They're the missing children from the photos in the Warner Library. Does that mean we're missing too? I guess so, but that's good, isn't it? Because someone will come and find us. But no one found them. Oh, shit. Billy! Freaky! So, you guys are the missing children, huh? Were you seen here too? Was she mean and horrible and make you cry? I've never been so scared before. I don't know what you're talking about. You mean you weren't brought here? By... her? I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. The last thing I remember was being bullied by some scary ladies with long wooden sticks and power in your hair. And then it was just dark. Dark like I've never seen before. Lots of wind and loud noises. And then the shadow lady told us we had failed and we'll be missing children forever. That sounds horrible. It was much scarier than when I fell off my bicycle and scraped my knees so badly I had to go to the hospital. We were here first and then these three came and then those. We thought you'd been brought here too. No, the guardians led us here. We have to return this rock. <gasps> what? That's what we're supposed to do. I remember now. We had a mission. We were supposed to return things. And this rock was one of them. What else was there? A wand and a sword by any chance? <gasps> <gasps> yes, that was it. But we've been here so long that we've forgotten. The other lady said the only way that we would be freed would be if someone returned the stone to the heart of the mountain. I remember that lady in white visited us one time and told us that one day three children would be able to free us. That must be you. So no pressure or anything? So we need to return it to the heart of the mountain? Let's see what the book says. <gasps> The thing always happens that you believe in, and the belief in the thing makes it happen. What's that supposed to mean? It's no help at all. Do you think that's where we're supposed to go? You've got to be kidding. I guess we better make a start. Good luck. was a cruel trick imprisoning those children. They failed. That was part of the deal. It was never my intention that they would be lost forever. You were supposed to set them free. You should know me by now. I didn't know that you visited them. But cruel, don't you think? Giving them false hope? Hope is never false. Perhaps. It is always futile. Only for those like you, Mordred. You hurt me with your disdainful tone. Oh, I hardly believe that. I think that you were scared. Scared that these children will succeed. I think that you're scared. 
And why is that? Because if they succeed, then I'll be lost forever. If it could be any other way. We both chose our paths long ago. You chose light, and I chose chaos. I have ruled for a long time, and I may still go on. If you have anything to do with it, and I'm sure you will try. They still have the last and most dangerous hurdle of all. None have ever gotten this far. I know. I don't know if I can go in there. We just have to think of it as an adventure. I know we have to go, but I'm so scared. I'm scared too. Who wouldn't be scared? There's a great big scary forest right in front of us and we have to go right into the middle of it. I don't trust the way those shadows are moving. We have to go through, or else, or else those poor kids will never be released from the mine. I know, I just said we have to go. Come on guys, it'll be okay. This mountain has been in our backyard our whole lives. Why is this suddenly so scary? Have you noticed there have been shadows following us everywhere? Ever since we got to the tunnel? I hadn't really thought about it, but yeah, I guess they had. Who do you suppose they are? Think about it, it feels whenever we need light, light appears. Um, don't be too scared, but I think we'll be shadows following us now. Run! She just sat next to the candles and looked at the stars. Sometimes she sang. Can you hear that? Hey, it must be Sarah singing again.
stone you carry is the key to your future. How? Once the stone is put in place, the prophecy will be fulfilled. We don't understand. It took three of you to undergo this journey with the help of two others. A wise man once said that children with courage and strength and love for one another would save the world and bring it back to Aroha. It is time for you to choose which one does it belong to? It is not the love that you carry within your heart, it is that you're in the heart of love. Georgia, Billy, Billy Charlie, Charlie, are you back? back? The prophecy has been fulfilled. The forces of chaos have been overcome and Aroha will now reign over the world giving hope and peace to all who dare to stand in light and in love. <laughs>